Yo guys, what is going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get reserve cases extremely quickly. Like, if you guys are a subscriber of mine, you know I just did a 55 reserve case opening, and I'm already at 93. I did the 55 on Thursday. It is now Monday at the time of recording, and I'm at 93 cases. I'm aiming for 250 by the next operation, which is in a week. So hopefully, if you guys want to subscribe now or are subscribed, there's going to be an awesome opening at the new operation drop. So guys, without any more rambling, let me show you guys exactly my way of getting so many reserve cases so quickly. I'm going to run it down the best I can. So first, um, you guys want to try and be above tier 50. Your cases are going to be twice as slow if you're not higher than a tier 50 already. But if you are, then you're already on a great start. You get a tier every hour, roughly. I don't know the exact minutes, but you get a tier and a reserve case from your normal case gain every hour. So being above tier 50 will grant you an extra case per hour and make your time twice as more efficient. So this is huge. Being above tier 50 is absolutely huge for this method. So um, that one is just kind of on your own time. You got to get that done whenever you can, and you have to have some time available to, you know, be grinding the game. But I'm going to show you guys a way that is just super amazing to get cases, and it is the new contract system. So guys, the new contract system, as you can see, I gained three uh, cases there yesterday. So guys, these contracts have a chance to have a case in them. All six of them could have cases. Only the two hard ones could have cases. Honestly, it is a total gamble and it is just randomized. Yesterday, I had six contracts here that all had cases. One had two and the other ones had one. Now today, you can see I only have a total of three cases for gain. We have the one contract up here on the right and then the two hard ones only granting me one case. So guys, these contracts aren't that, you know, hard. Some of them are rev relatively uh, a little tricky, but they're not hard. The quad feed is going to be one of your harder ones, and there's a couple of them there um, that, you know, are a little more difficult sometimes. Situationally, you have to be a little bit better at the game, but nonetheless, not that hard. So contracts are going to be your main way of gaining cases. As you can see, this 20 one-shot, one-kill medal, that is super easy to get that done in one game that's under 15 minutes of work for one case. Considering it takes you an hour to get one case or two if you have your tiers to 50, you know, this is huge. These contracts are absolutely huge. And the big key here is these reset every 24 hours. So you can get on through the easy contracts, get a couple easy cases, and then hop off. But guys, you're probably asking me why, you know, are you telling me this? You can't get 93 cases in like four days just doing four contracts. We have your daily contract here. So with that being said, we have a total of four cases to be gained off contracts. But one thing you might not have thought of is all the other modes that contracts are in. Contracts are actually in all four modes. So these loading screens kind of take a little bit. We're going to head over to World League and see what our challenges are looking like today. And then one other thing, guys, if you can't finish a contract within the 24 hours, if you keep it active, it stays there until you complete it. So no matter what, it will stay there until it's completed unless you click another contract to replace it. So that is a way to kind of get an extra case or two to carry over a day or two. That's embarrassing. Uh, I didn't play that much, I swear. As you guys can see, I didn't even finish my contracts yesterday and I wasn't playing League. That's embarrassing, but we're going to head in here, and you, as you guys can see, I have two contracts here from yesterday that are still, you know, here. They're not disappearing, and you can see it is a total of three cases. Guys, the daily contract for league play is to complete five games every day, so that is a case just for playing five games. And then you have your contracts here, and we have my new contracts on the day. Taste of Blood, three Bloodthirsties, get your two cases. Score Hoarder, it's another two cases. Um, and then we don't have any cases for the regular contracts. So honestly, I don't do the regular contracts until all my case contracts are done. But right there, I have another, um, here's three that I have left over. Here's four. And then here's another four right there. That's nine cases right there that I can potentially, or eight cases that I can potentially unlock today alone and just playing some World League. So that right there, doing all these challenges, you know, that's roughly um, 4 to 10 games. And with the 4 to 10 games, you know, each game is roughly 15 minutes. That's, you know, an hour. That's another 2 or 3 um, hours worth of play. That's going to get me, you know, another 6 cases. So that's a total of, you know, like 12 to 15 cases just playing World League today. So... Guys, it doesn't stop there. I'm telling you, this method is absolutely insane. We're going to head over to Blackout now, and I'm going to just show you how I've been getting these cases so quick. I genuinely have a love for all parts of this game, and it's so fun, and there's so much progression and stuff to work towards. So if you, you know incorporate contracts and your time played into that, it's huge. So 
Let's keep in mind we are in blackout now and we have a whole new set of contracts. You guys can see here I have solo proficiency which is another 45 minutes of play. It's going to be almost another two cases from time played. It gets you another case there. I have a challenge from yesterday or a contract. So let's check out our contracts here. We have kill 30 zombies. One of the easiest contracts in blackout. That's going to give me another case right there. That's going to take 10 minutes max. Just head to graveyard. We have adventurer. Collect five backpacks you can only collect one backpack per game that's five games you can literally load in collect a backpack get killed by somebody and then you know recycle that if you don't care about your stats that's 15 minutes max and then we have uh consistency is key kill an enemy during three different collapses this one isn't that hard pretty easy on alcatraz and um some of those you know fast paced ones are hot pursuit that's another case there and we have two cases here get a first place in any mode Honestly, winning is not that hard. So we have three, four, five. Five cases off the regular contracts, and then the sixth case here, and then a seventh from a channel or contract that I had yesterday. So that's another seven cases in Blackout. Let's head over to Zombies. Now keep in mind, um, Blackout, while you're playing, you're getting tier progression, and you're getting reserve progression. So that's more cases there. If you guys can see the trend here, contracts are the way to go. Now, guys, one thing about zombies, as you are playing zombies, it does not count towards tier or reserve progression. So keep that in mind. But there is a couple things here I want to point out. So we have my easy challenges here from yesterday that I didn't finish. I finished two yesterday to get a couple cases, but I had these two, which are super easy. I'm going to get done today. One thing I want to say about your daily contract, it is a, um, you know, it's just on a map classified being my favorite map. So I'll do this today. You also get a tier skip for doing the daily contract. It used to be a challenge in your menu. Now they incorporate it into the daily contract. And you also get a tier skip for doing a classic game getting 15 rounds. So if you do your daily contract with your daily tier skip, they will get you another three cases. You get your two tier skips and you get your case from the daily contract. Now let's head over into the regular contracts and um, we can see if we have any cases here. We have 200 kills with pistols. That's easy, as soon as you spawn in, you spawn with a pistol. So it's super easy to get this one, 200 kills, that's another case. You get um, 100 kills in a row without taking damage, that one's easy. Um, that's two cases right there. And then 20 heavy kills, honestly, I wouldn't even worry about that one. That one's just too and too much work for me. But that's another case if you so decide to do it. So guys, over all the contracts across four modes, I would say that's well over at least 20 cases. And then you have all the time played during the day. It's just absolutely a foolproof method to get a ton of cases and a ton of items. If you put in the time and you put in the work and you give it a little commitment, you can easily have 100 reserve cases in five days. It is not hard. You could easily have 125 cases in five days if you get lucky with your contracts you stay on the grind put in like eight hours a day and guys if you know you don't have that much time in the day everyone's schedule is different um you know just do a couple contracts here and there and you will see reserve cases still start to pile up now if you guys really want to see results don't open them and wait for the next uh operation if you're watching this video by the time the next operation's out then just save your cases up for a little bit. It's so much more satisfying opening like 50 of the things in a row than it is to open one at a time. Trust me, it feels like you really did get something out of it when you get those five ultras or those 10 epic items instead of getting one or two here and there. So guys, that's really all I got to say on the video today. I don't think I left anything out. I tried to cover every single base for how I get my reserve cases, there's absolutely no need to buy cases, guys. They have made it completely, completely 20 times easier to get the new DLC weapons. And, you know, the whole pay-to-win thing, it is really upsetting to see. But, guys, honestly, it's not that bad. I mean, we have the new duplicate protected ca uh, cases here, but, you know, I'm... Um, six cases i don't know we might try some of those when i do the um new operation but even getting you know duplicates out of these cases it's still worth doing all these contracts and getting and just racking these cases up there is literally no limit and guys there's just no reason for you not to do some of these contracts and really grind this game for some of these cases because these new weapons and stuff are just so dope and i'm just rambling at this point but let me tell you guys Getting reserve cases is extremely easy. The proof is in the pudding, and the pudding is on your screen right now in the bottom left. So, guys, that is going to do it for me. I know there wasn't any gameplay in the background. It was just me scrolling through menus, and I apologize for that. I like to have a little bit of gameplay in the background uh, when I can. But, 
you know, I'm going to try and think of some new ideas here for videos. This one was kind of long. I know just sitting on the menu talking about it, but the information was good and that's what matters. We're going to be looking out for new Modern Warfare content coming soon. Hopefully gameplay as soon as possible when we find it somewhere on the internet, a leak or something. And, you know, it's very com controversial. I haven't, you know, talked about it yet. But very long video today. I'm apologizing to you now. If you if you didn't stick through it, though, comment you love cookies. And I think that'll do it for me. It was kind of sloppy towards the end here. But I'm not going to edit anything. I'm just going to keep it as it is. And if you guys, you know, hate it, then you hate it. If you love it, then you love it. But, guys, that's going to do it for me. If you did enjoy it today, leave a like. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you're new, man. Leave a like. It really helps the channel, man. Just leave that like. Drop the subscription. I appreciate it so much. Check out the sponsors and equipment in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.